All right, welcome back to Junior's Joint, friends and fellow anglers. Today, taking the Oru kayak out on its maiden voyage. It's always good to name your sea vessel. If you remember, my John boat is the Narwhal. I don't know if we're going to get a shot of the sticker on here. I'm probably not. But uh, I have named this little kayak the Muskrat. It's got a little Muskrat sticker on it. But I wasn't even thinking to get a shot of that. But this is the technically the second time it was on the water. I want to take it out make sure I didn't sink right away with all my cameras and garbage with me. But uh, it was a little bit windy today and that's why we're not using the audio because it's just you hear the wind and you hear me huffing and puffing through my shitty nose that always makes squealy sounds when I don't have a decent microphone and basically my tactic here was uh, paddle out against the waves and then I, I struggled at first I didn't know what the hell I was doing I've never fished from a kayak this is my first time really in a kayak other than when I was a little kid and yeah I've had some little kayaks and stuff back then but uh not one that folds up like this guy so I paddled on out here other than the wind it was pretty decent there's my first cast from the kayak right now i have on a rat finky i'm not totally sure but i think i still have the bobber on at this point because i had the bobber on and that really wasn't working so now I was just kind of like take the bobber off and then troll backwards because that seemed to work the best <coughs> Wyatt really <coughs> we're busy here <coughs> we're busy you can't be making all this noise just shut your <coughs> shut your pie hole all right back to fishing now that we've addressed him it was pretty nice other than the wind today it was nice scenery wasn't wasn't majorly crowded it it was it was still heavily populated but it was there was like only one other boat out there so a lot of people wasn't out on the water right now just pushing against those waves Oh, yep, this is where I start getting all tangled up. Got it caught in my friggin' oar. Wind's blowing the excess line across me. Really, really struggling to figure my shit out right now. So the rat finky's still on. Didn't get a bite on the rat finky at all. Not at all. Now I'm leaving the shore, trolling away from the shore, and I might have went. I might have went back and put on the pistol Pete at this point. So I'm dragging along a pistol Pete. Look at all the snowpack up in those mountains. My original plan for this summer was to get into Uenas, but I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to do with all the snowpack and the flooding everything else that's going on up that way roads washing out now i've paddled all the way to the back uh what is it the northeast corner now i've switched over to the trout magnet and i've stuck my pole out the back now i'm like real trolling like i'm in a real boat and I got back to this back corner and still didn't have any bites or nothing and then I took off the rubber body of the trout magnet and I just threw a full night crawler on and I think I probably got a hit when I was on my way back trolling with just that night crawler because 
when I pulled my line in, only had half a worm left. So it seems likely likely that something took part of my damn worm. Now I'm just kind of drifting back with the wind. I didn't I didn't feel real tired doing all this rowing, but I imagine tomorrow morning I'm probably going to feel it in my upper back if I'm not feeling it a little bit right now. But it's nice. I was pleasantly su surprised with the stability of this little this little plastic foldable kayak. Um, I think the only water that got in was what came off my legs and my shoes pushing it out and such but the wind was just a struggle like I'll blame no fish on just struggling with the wind the whole time and yeah I haven't really fished from a kayak before so maybe I need to switch up my lures and baits and stuff make it more kayak friendly probably have to watch somebody else's YouTube videos and see what you know what does good from a kayak but I don't know the water was choppy and now I'm sitting here watching it I probably should have went to that south side it's probably where all the fish were hanging out that water just churning that way pushes all the food to that end of the reservoir that's probably where they were and I didn't want to go to that end because then I'm gonna really have to work if it kicks up to get back to my car just heading north and drifting back to the car now got my little water shoes on like uh, it wasn't a big fishing day I got skunkarooed but I don't know it was nice it was nice just I stayed out there a lot longer than I thought I was going to just because I was having fun playing on the water probably should have stayed stayed till sunset maybe would have done better but I don't know the weather's just been windy and scattered showers all week not really conducive to kayaking I almost didn't go out today and I was like ah, I better take it out and see how bad it is and like, I don't think I think it wasn't any good for fishing but it wasn't half bad in the kayak it wasn't nothing dangerous just paddle around trying to catch fish fishing on till I get a fish on only I didn't get a fish on this time no I'll be back out there soon enough there's always another fish there's always gonna be another fish as long as you keep fishing Just don't get frustrated, don't give up. Failure only happens when you quit. Just keep that in mind about everything in life. But also, know when to quit. Know when something's not worth it and just quit. You don't want to chase something to the grave that's certainly not worth it. Fish on till you get a fish on.